but so far it's been great and I'm really happy about it. And all the girls were like, do it, do it. I'm like, I get it. Yeah. Like, I get it. And it's actually really, really fun. Like, I'm putting together the content. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Like, let's do this. Yeah. Like, it's exciting. There it is. Another interview inside the brand new Blue Wire Studios at the Wynn Las Vegas. So good. Big thank you to Melissa Santos for joining us. Big thank you to you for being in there with us. And if you want a full studio tour, boom. Check out that video right there. If you've seen any of my other videos before, you've heard me talk about it. But if not, prepare to have your mind blown. The Spade from Axel Glade is not only the best way to clean your ears, this is the coolest way to clean your ears. You'll see what I mean. So here it is on the charging base. And when you take the cap off, that right there is a three megapixel camera. And you know where I'm going with this. When you put it in your ear, you can see everything that's in there and then you can gently scoop the wax out with that soft tip there. Instead of pushing the wax back in, which is what a Q-tip does. So when you connect it to their app on your smartphone, you see everything in real time. And uh, well, you'll see what I mean here. Oh, that is such a nugget right there. And there it is. Okay, and that's just one ear. So I think you can kind of imagine that the same stuff's going on in the other ear. So because the Spade has been so popular, Axel Glade just came out with this bad boy right here, the Spade Mini. It's all the same functionality. It's just in a smaller, more compact form and about half the price. So with all the discounts that they have going on right now with Axel Glade's Black Friday sale, the Spade, the original, is gonna run you $67 with all the discounts. The Spade Mini, 34 bucks. That's a pretty great and pretty unique gift to get somebody. And I know you're already thinking about the perfect person for this. Go to axelglade.com slash CVV or just use the discount code CVV. Again, with all the discounts that they have going on right now, $67 for the Spade Original, 34 bucks for the Spade Mini. Pretty darn cool. I haven't seen you in so long. So good to see you again. I know, likewise. You look jacked, dude. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I just stop can, it. Can we get can you guys get the close-up on the biceps right now? Like Oh, you mean Oh yeah, I'm just you have adjusting to the so microphone. Stop it. You were just on stage in a bodybuilding show. I was my first bodybuilding show. This is why I'm like noticing you are how jacked. they jacked people. Like yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, this is a community of jacked. Well, I mean, people. the man you're married to, it doesn't really get any more jacked than He's him. He's pretty, yeah. I mean, he is like <laughs> I remember when I first met him, it was like very shocking. Like him and Johnny actually were probably the most shocking, like in like um John Morrison? Oh, John Morrison, yeah. yeah. Like the 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 most kind of like just wow like these are wrestlers like this is yeah. this is what a wrestler supposed to like growing up right you're like this is what they look like they yeah. look like they look animated right but him and you know Brian and John were like for sure the ones and then um, and then Brian just kind of kept my attention you know it's like here we are a whole baby and a marriage and <laughs> and a move to Las and a move Vegas. to Las Vegas later so yeah um, well, let's talk about that because I always knew you as and this is funny you guys always said you lived in L A. You actually lived in Rancho, right? Rancho, Which is, yeah. It's, Rancho it's part, Cucamonga. Who knows what Rancho Cucamonga? Who every, knows Every wrestling at? fan knows now. Oh, well, Because yeah. of the Young Bucks. Yeah, yeah. But you guys actually lived in Rancho Cucamonga, and the yeah. Young Bucks, sorry, everyone, don't yeah. live in Rancho Cucamonga Not anymore. anymore. No, no. Yeah. They live close, though. Yeah. Like, you know, but you still always have to rep where you came from, right? It's all about the roots, so. And it's just fun to say Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah. What does that mean, by the way? I, it doesn't. What's the direct ran translation? Rancho is just ranch, and then Cucamonga, I think, is just a name. And I think it was. And for anyone who lives in Rancho, Cucamonga <laughs> in California or knows the history, but I know it is the name of like one of the founding like families of that area. I think the Cucamonga oh, okay. is that. So I'm almost positive that's what How is doing. life in Las Vegas? Like it's vacation all the time that so it that's really a pro is. and a con though it is you have to learn how to have some like self-control <laughs> out here yeah. um and i'm you know i think brian and i have really we're really good at that so we have our priorities i have a daughter so i can't be like oh mimosas at you know 10 a.m every day even though maybe sometimes i want to um but yeah i can't do that because i have a mo i'm a mom and i have you know my dogs at home too and there's like People, you know, people, animals that depend on me, so I can't. 
What made you guys decide to move from California to Nevada? Um, California um, during COVID got super, super restrictive, like so restricted that as um, parents, like I couldn't keep my daughter inside like all day, like no parks were open and it just went on for so long. It was really hard to find a daycare um, so that I could also go back to work and, and do stuff. So we're like, okay, where can we go that's not as restricted, but still has like some like freedom and that was Vegas. And so I love Cali. Um, I don't really miss all of it just yet. I think I told you walking in, I'm like, I don't really miss it just yet because I'm having, I'm still like new here and there's so much to do here. Yeah. Um, uh, so not yet, but when I always go back. When so. it's 117 degrees in July, do you kind of miss it? I didn't know how to deal with that. <laughs> I walked outside and I'm like, I'm, this is hell. This is for sure what it's like. It's pretty like, hot. It's ridiculous. It, but, you know, now the weather is amazing. You've been outside. It's nice and fresh. and it's, This is perfect. Yeah, and so it's actually perfect. So from what I've learned from the locals is that those months are the hardest, yeah, and it's they don't last too long. So it, it was a, probably like three months of just pure hell on earth, okay. and you okay. just want to stay inside. And But after that, it's been pretty okay. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I've got a crop top, right? Like, I'm like, yeah, you got to show off the abs. Like, Come on. I, I have to show. If you stand up, I bet. Let me see. Yeah, okay. We have to. Let's get the. Oh my up. gosh! It's not Come even on. That, it's not oh that yeah. Crazy right it's, now. yeah. Okay. Only fans. I'm just kidding. Let's just. Well, no, we'll, <laughs> oh, we will talk all about that. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Zeus over there, just like, what is happening? Yeah, Zeus, my incredible videographer, yes, photographer. Yes, amazing. The best. Yeah, dude, with the name like Zeus, he has to be the best. I like how you're like. Is your name actually Zeus, or are you some sort of a wrestler? Name. His name's Hey Zeus. But it's way cooler to go by Zeus. Zeus. Love that. Hey. Zeus. Yeah. Ah, ah hey, you see that? Zeus. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I was not expecting that you'd be making the announcement that you would have an OnlyFans. I didn't either. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did not either. I have some new management that was like, hey, you know, we can um, do this and this for you and we can like organize you as this model, but we can handle and maybe put together some content for you for OnlyFans and we can do this together. And then they just kept pushing and they work with other influencers and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. And they, they helped me with partnerships outside of that. So I was like, yeah. hey, okay, this is good. Let's do this. So they, I have a partnership with a company that helps me make this better for my fans as well. So that kind of made it, I don't know, like, I don't know. I was just not ready to do it on my own. I felt like I needed like the kind of push. And then Brian was always like, babe, do it. You're, you, I want you to be su like just out there just being hot. Like my husband just likes to put me on like a little pedestal. If I he's guess, okay with oh, it. Oh, he then. loves it. He, he approves my content. He's probably taking the photos. Yes. And some <laughs> photos that he takes. It's him. Yeah. He's all into it. He's like, oh my gosh, this is hot. This is great. And I feel like because he's a man, right? And males, he, they know what they want to see on OnlyFans. He's all, this is good. And so he'll approve the content. And so here we are. Did you have some other friends in the industry that were like, Melissa, like I am making so much money? Yes, a lot of them. And now we see a lot like Chelsea, for example, has her OnlyFans. She's like, Melissa, what are you doing? Do the OnlyFans, do the thing. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, because the stigma, right? Like, so there was this stigma. And then when I really sat down and thought about it, I'm like, why? Like, we're just doing this to ourselves. Like, why? It's, and it's usually other, I don't know, I hate, I don't want to be at like a woman basher, but I feel like it was certain women in my life that were like, no, you can't do that because of this. And then I'm like, but no, like my other friends who are entertainers are doing it. And it was, it is the women that aren't entertainers in my life that were kind of like, don't do it, don't do it. Cause it has this look. I'm like, but why, why don't we just empower yeah. women? Like what's wrong with me being sexy and a mom? And I have layers. This yeah. is just one of my layers and my fans with, you know, if you guys are amazing, like my first 24 hours on OnlyFans has been like, why didn't I do this before? So I don't you know, know if you want to dive into it, but <laughs> how many subscribers did you get in your first 24 hours? It was like hours? over a hundred subscribers wow. right now. Okay. Like and that's and it, it one day been, in, it was like one day in that I just saw, but then they've, this was like at six in the morning and it hadn't even been 24 hours yet. And so like now I, I every time I go on, it's like subscribe, subscribe. I'm like, this is, this is amazing. And they're tipping me and they're like, this is awesome. And sending me private messages and thanking me. I'm like, well, well, you're welcome. So um, how much of you will they see? It's, on a, lot, it's a lot of me. It's a lot of me. Uh -huh. um, a lot of me. That, that's it. That's all I can say. Okay. You have to subscribe. 
to see like how much. Ooh, what a tease. What? I'm such a jerk right wow. now. I'm such a jerk. But it's a lot of me and it's a lot of me in a different way that people are, are not used to seeing. And I feel like they're like, please, like, do it. And then finally I did it. And my wrestling fans are awesome. And they've been with me since, like, Lucha Underground yeah. days. And they're, like, super supportive. And now it's been nothing but positivity. So far, no mean things have happened. Now, what happens one day when your daughter sees this? I don't care. It's okay. Okay. My daughter is uh, going to be around a lot of entertainers. And we understand that the, there is um, a... Uh, a formula that works sex sells yeah. right yeah. it can't just be that you know but it could be this you know this evolution of this sexuality which I have no problem leading with sexuality I have no that's I feel like every entertainer does like you do you might not I know you're doing it do you not. might not know you're doing it but it is there's a sexuality that we lead with that is great and it's appealing and like if you think about what gets all the likes online and all that it's the sexiness. Like, if I post something sexy, all the likes. If I post something and it's just me and my dog, some of the likes. Like, and you know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, unless it's me and my dog, like, really sexy, dressed up, like, sexy with my dog. Like, that's, it's really what it is. And I guess I did post a shirtless photo yesterday. Did you really? I did. Do I have to look this up? How did I, I miss this? I mean, I can't believe you didn't comment on it. I, um, I've feel... been eating a lot of pizza recently. And it's been really helping to carve the abs out. Wow. Can we? Can we? What is? It's just, you know, no. It's, oh, it's just like, you know, 145 comments and, you know, okay. Oh, no. This is but you were, great. you were saying like, you know. But that fills you up. People don't understand that the carbs, after low carb, yeah. pizza, dude, it's the best. You I always joke that it's the pizza diet because I, I have, there's been times when I've been like super strict and I'm sure you were right before you getting get on flat, stage. Really you get flat. Really small. Flat. And it's interesting. Yeah. and. I'm sure you've done this. You carb up or you sugar up right before a shoot. And it's less like, yep, yeah. Yep. I actually just posted a clip with Jason Momoa who said right before his shirtless scene in Aquaman. The fact that you're hanging out with Aquaman. <laughs> this was you're when my I, hero. I interviewed him for Aquaman. And I know, he I said did see this. He drank a Guinness right before going on yeah, set. Yeah, you got some sugar on you. Some and carbs. It was just, mm -hmm. So I'm like, so you drank beer to look ripped. Crazy. And to relax him. I'm sure he, it's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, that too. You know, it looks better, can move sexier. I'm telling you, it's about the sexiness. That man is the se is sex god. Like, I'm sorry, babe. Like, that's, <laughs> I know we have, like, certain celebrities that we get a pass with. He's definitely. There he is. He's, yeah, 100%. That's Jason 100%. Momoa for you. Yeah, he's who's like, Who's Brian's tall pass? Oh, he loves Rachel McAdams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do too, though. I'd let him. It's fine. Yeah, she's, it's cool, she's a fellow Canadian, so I she's, appreciate her. She's amazing, yeah. He loves it, Alanis Morissette, too. She's Canadian, too. Yeah, think, look at this. She? Yeah, Pamela Anderson, all yeah. the beautiful Canadians. Yeah. Justin Bieber, Nickelback. Wait, is Ooh. Justin Bieber really Canadian? Yeah. I didn't know this. He's from Stratford, Ontario. Okay, yeah. I like him. He gets a lot of heat. He does. But he's incredibly talented. Man, so talented. he is so talented. So talented. Man. Here's the thing with OnlyFans. If, if what's working this week or next week is working now, aren't you worried that it's going to have to just continuing to be more all the time? No, because um, I'm going to give different content every, every week. Okay, like so just you've got today, a content strategy. Yeah, I have a complete content strategy. And it doesn't always have to be more. Because, I mean, like, how far are we going to put? It's about reinventing. It doesn't have to necessarily be Are like, you completely naked? I can't say. Wow. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> he wants to know if I am completely naked. You're gonna have to sign up and see. Okay, I probably won't be signing up. I know, you're, but I you're, support you. Thank and I think you. You're amazing I appreciate and it. I love you. I appreciate and, um, it. And congratulations on everything. Thank I, you. I probably won't be. You're my friend, and I won't be signing up. I know, and then you're like, ah, yeah, awkward. Yeah, right. Like future interviews are gonna you. be awkward. Super support you. <laughs> Just probably won't be signing up for your OnlyFans. I know. But so far, it's been great, and I'm really happy about it. And all the girls were like, do it, do it. I'm like, I get it. Yeah. Like, I get it. And it's actually really, really fun. Like, I'm putting together the content. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Like, let's do this. Yeah. Like, it's exciting. It's exciting. I never knew I would like it this much. So here I am. And it's funny because I, I, you probably didn't expect to be doing this no. when you were working with Impact Wrestling. No. And I've plan on hopefully working with them again and well, we just saw you all that yeah that was really fun the uh 
the response to that was really amazing. Yeah. And I was just like really humbled. I'm like, oh, this is, yeah, I miss it. I really do miss it. Um, and I miss ring announcing. And it was just for what I was there for was really humbling too. You know, such incredible yeah. women, such powerful women in the industry that have paved the way for, you know, a lot of women who are just kicking butt. So yeah, it was really nice to be a part of that. Was the plan to step away and do stuff outside of wrestling or was just kind of like, you know, it came to a stop with COVID? COVID really changed a lot of things from, uh, for me, especially like, eh. it, see, the thing is Brian could keep, as a mother, like someone has to stay home. I can't leave my daughter, <laughs> yeah. you know, with a bowl of food and some water and just like kind of come back in a couple of days. Like I'm her mom and I'm, taking the risk, I'm the parent who's almost always with her. Yeah. So um, things changed. So after becoming a mom though, um, I had to reroute my efforts. And then COVID, when COVID hit, I mean, everyone had to reroute their efforts. Like that was insane. But I think, you know, slowly things are kind of going back to or or becoming what they are in a different way now. So I'm, I'm okay with so that. So you're seeing your efforts were rerouted to being full-time mom for Most of, basically yeah, the last two that years. That was really hard because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I miss a lot of things. And so I still would travel. I would still do, you know, appearances, but um, just kind of rerouting things for me. I would do, I've been doing a lot of voice stuff, um, which is cool. So doing a lot of um, like content for companies where they need voices. And then I'm just saying, I work with a oh, company in New one. York. Give us a voice. No, they're the advertisement type Give us stuff. one. There's not a voice. Like, Is like it in what? English or Spanish? It just, it depends. Um, anyway, there's not like a voice. What Read us one for? of your VO scripts. What did I do? I got to hear this. I don't have a VO I'm one sure on me do. right now. Yeah, come on. Oh this my God, good. you're killing me right oh, now. Oh, I can't wait to hear We got the professional setup here. <laughs> this is going to sound so good. You need to oh hear this. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's looking one up. Which, what, what, what did I just do recently? Oh my goodness. I want the full professional voice. Oh, well, it, voice. Was, it was for, uh, I can't even say it yet because I, I actually, <sighs> I can't say it yet. It was for, okay, so I can say the company. It's for a company called New Wave. They do a bunch of, um, like a lot of uh, appliances that you use at home. Oh. So I did some stuff for them and it was in Spanish and in English, but it's like, I don't have the Give us a little bit me. of the Spanish script. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing me right now. Um, you know what? I could do something in Spanish. Um, <laughs> hold on. Estamos. It's just, it's my voice, but in Espanol. But I'm sure it's like, you know, it's not just your voice. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, la, 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 la. What did I just do recently? Sold. Like, I'm sold already. No, no. I'm like, gosh, I hate you right now because I'm like, I don't have a script on me right now, but... Um, Perate, 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 Chris. Okay. Um, how about I just sell you a car? I would do the Spanish stuff when I'm doing my voiceover stuff okay. for cars. Um, Hola, estamos aquí con Chris Van Vliet y él quiere comprar un carro, un carro del año, pero necesitas parar, necesito saber exactamente qué tipo de carro tú necesitas. What kind of car do you need? Wow. So, I mean, I just kind of change into that. Y ahora estamos aquí. You, y este carro va a costarte wow. nada más y nada menos que 500 dólares al mes. Y solamente 500 dólares al mes, Chris Van. Wow, Vliet. Lo iba a decir Vliet en Car español. Carros. Vliet. Carros. Carro. So, I don't, so, I'll do like wow. a lot of like voiceover stuff for like cars and things like that. My but the one goodness. I recently did, I couldn't do because it's like, okay, it's not was, official yet. I felt like we so were. So, I'm just going to sell you. I was going to try sold. to sell you for a second. Oh, for a second, I was about to start selling him, I'm which sold. is, I'm sorry, I don't know if your wife would okay, be no. a girlfriend. Kid, girlfriend. Yeah. I thought you were married. I am not. It's uh, practically married, though. You guys have been together uh, for a long time. Yeah, she's great. She's yeah, we are I not, mean, we're not married. It's it's practically like once I feel like when does it become a marriage where it's like where it it's becomes, practically. I think it becomes a marriage when like you know you put one ring on one finger. But I mean, and... that's just a contract. I feel like it's so okay. Yeah, it's more contractual. That's like I think that... it becomes a marriage when you move from California to Nevada. I know when you move. So when you move, with and it's someone, Nevada, not Nevada, right? I, I don't know. I think it's Nevada. I think I say Nevada. I think Do I that's say correct, Nevada? Right? Is that Nevada? I don't know. No, Anybody correct. who's sure from? It's Nevada. It's Nevada. Yeah. Okay. Good. Nevada. Thumbs up. Do like Nevada? So Nevadians. Ne is that Neva right? Nevadians. Nevadians. Do Nevadans. Nevadians. Is it Nevadians or Nevadians? Nevadians. No. Nevadians. Nevadians. Are they okay with? 
intense. Thanks, guys. Saying Nevada? Or do you guys get, like, insulted? Because I don't even, because I'm not official. Like, Probably I'm not cool. even an official resident. I think it takes, like, a year at least or something Probably like that, like, right? Ooh, you're, so you're I'm still, like. clearly not from here. I'm not from here. Like, people do, you know, they do that. They're they're like, just, you probably still like uh, going to the Strip. I hate the Strip. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, I have never, like, like I just, no. I like Fremont Street. Fremont okay. Street. Downtown. Is fun. Yeah. Yes. So much. There's a bar out there that really loves wrestling fans um, or fans and res and wrestlers. Called? Nerd bar. Now, the nerd this bar. Is the bar. This is the spot. This is the bar where instead of riding a mechanical bull. Yes. You ride a mechanical penis. A giant penis. Yeah. Two different colors, too. They have that big, giant black penis and they have a big, giant white penis. And you post so there's one for everyone. So you right? posted a photo of this recently. <laughs> But it was a close-up, so we couldn't quite tell what was going on. I was trying to have on. my abs. Like, my abs looked good, yeah. and so we're like, we got, we got to post this closer. So you're like, is that a penis? Is it not? So now we closed up, it was like the veins of the penis. Yeah, now <sighs> everyone's going to go look at this photo and go, oh, yep, I see mm -hmm. it now. I think Chelsea has one up there, too. Yeah, well, she, she was that was from her bachelorette party, right? Um... Was it? No. Oh, well, it was for Impact. Impact was out here. Yes, that's And right. then everyone went to the Nerd Bar because that's the spot. Dude, the place is awesome. They have the best drinks. Um, I finally got to enjoy a drink um, after months of prep. Yeah. And I was just there like two weeks ago, and it was amazing. Yeah. When you're married to a bodybuilder, do you go, you know what? That will one day be my path. Bodybuilding? Yeah. You know what? Um, not exactly. With him, <laughs> I just always loved fitness. I just never thought I would do the bodybuilding because the the diet being so restricted. Yeah, I mean, the, so restricted. And there's a big difference between someone who works out and lifts weights and exhibit A right here, and then someone who like bodybuilds exhibit B, and like huge difference. Um, well, you can't really tell as much. I feel like you look sleeves. like you look like the bodybuilder right S now. Stop. It. Um, and it, there is a difference, um, but the you know. At least there's similarities and like you understand the discipline that comes with it. There, yeah. I feel like this is why someone who does it as a lifestyle can easily transition. And by easily, I mean more easily. More easily yeah. because it's not that easy. But you can transition and you understand like what it takes. Um, I just never thought I would do it. I, I just decided to. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself just. I, I need. I need structure, um, and I want to learn something new. And it's very different. So I did learn a lot about my body. I learned what works, what doesn't work. I learned so much. Um, I learned what peak week is going into um, your final like week um, before you hit the stage. That was the most difficult week of my life. And I've had a baby. Like I will <laughs> gladly just go into labor if I don't really have to do that often. That just like I'll go into labor right now. Is this because of the water depleting? It is, you know, the water loading yeah. and then the deple the depletion. Like yeah. I got zero carbs. I was on zero carbs for always almost like three weeks. So by the time I fit, I mean I was I went from like 137 pounds to like 112 pounds of like. And fats are your only fats, energy. Fats, so fats every other day towards the end. So, so you have days where you're just doing protein. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that sounds that terrible. That was for me. It was horrible. I would never want to be around someone like that. Yeah, I was not nice. Poor Brian. I was not <laughs> nice. I was like, ah! Like, everything would set me off. I'm like, I don't know. I think I was crying because I couldn't find the peanut butter that I wanted. Like, because it was my it was the, my fat day. And that day, I got a tablespoon of peanut butter with my breakfast, like, with my eggs. And I was, like, losing my mind. Like, I was like, where is it? It has to be the, the the clean one. It can't be the jiffy because like that has salt. Sugar, yeah. yeah, it has like extra additives in it that bloat you. Like the yeah. So I was like, <laughs> and I cried. But with Brian all found that it, said, <laughs> you are in love with bodybuilding. Now. I am. I'll do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do Jay Cutler show in April out here. It's a little bit early, but I think. I think that's going to be the one for me. So He's going to be know. a guest on the show I actually heard. right after you leave here. I know. Actually, you should stick around. And it's meant to be. I want to yeah. officially meet him because I've yeah. seen him at. He was just at my, the show that I just did, a Steve Carr um, International that I just did, and he was there, and he was just like, you know, doing his thing and just making his rounds, and, um, you know, we're, he had his podcast there and, yeah. and all that. So, yeah. Like, was, Brian Cage is a large man. He is. And then, like, Jay Cutler is, like, whatever the next level It's ridiculous. Is. These guys are ridiculous. Like, it's, it's really... Amazing. 
Like it I, is. It's so, so much impressive. respect. Yeah. It's impressive. And then the women too. Like there's oh, so many yeah. divisions now. So there's a a division that is like kind of in between, uh, like wellness and I think uh, figure. I believe it's figure. So it's well. It's called wellness. So the legs are thicker. The butt is bigger. So that's maybe something that I, I want to do after the next because it would take me about a year to grow. Because I, I basically am, I'd have to be like me, but like just just bigger, jacked, a more jacked version yeah. of a bikini competitor. Yeah. So there's. There's that. The girls are getting more jacked and more just like kind of like the guys. I think it's so cool. Like there aren't these these gender roles really don't exist. Um, and it's really cool to watch them. And the girls are like killing it. And I have a lot of bodybuilding friends out here now. A lot yeah. of a lot of girls who have helped me so much. Like I had a good team of like Brian helped coach me. I had two coaches. So I had Brian towards the end. Um, I had Nathan Harris, who they call him the Hulk out here. He's amazing. He knows Jay as well. Um, he, you know, he works with Dennis, who's also, I always forget his last name. Um, uh, he's also a bodybuilder. He's like, you know, but he's retired. And so there's like a large bodybuilding community out here. And so I had them too. And then I had like a team of three other females that helped me with my bikini, helped me with my posing, um, just everything from like things you don't think about, like your period, like how do we not get a period the week of peak week? Because it's crazy. I ended up not having it because my body fat was so low. But how to kind of get around these things, like stuff that the men, my my male coaches weren't going to know how to do. So it sure. literally takes yeah. a team of people to go, all right, you're going to stage. So it's like like really a team. It is Man. not just me by myself doing this. So Now that you've got the, not you always had the look, but now that you've got this look, does yeah. any part of you want to train and get in the ring? People keep asking me that so much. And I'm like, it hurts, dude. But you've been asked this your whole, like the since whole Lucha time. Underground. Yeah, the whole time. Because I originally started wrestling. Mm -hmm. And um, then, you know, they came across my, um, I, the Lucha Underground executives came across my my Instagram or it might have been like my Facebook or something like that. And they're like, oh, hey, she speaks Spanish. Hey, she can ring announce. Oh, she can take a bump just in case. You know, you never know. Um, but yeah, it hurts. And I don't hurts. see, I don't have it in me to like go and, and just go out there and just, just travel and just take bumps all day. Like I just, that's not where I'm at in life. Like I really just want to focus on, you know, doing like my VO stuff, doing my acting, like acting and doing my host stuff. Like just and only kind of my only fans. Yeah. I'm so obsessed with my only fans right now. Want to do my, my fitness company, which I'm working on right now. And it's going to launch probably at the end of January, early February. Um, that's being built from the ground up um, with my partner. So I'm just, that's all I'm focused on. Yeah. And, and really, you can just focus only on a certain amount of things. I know there's people are like, I do this, I do this, I do this. I'm all, no, I, I can't. I need to just focus and, and dial in on the things that I want to do. Especially if you want to become great at one of those things. You have to. Yeah. The whole jack of all trades. I mean, it's cool to know how to have different skill sets, um, but how do you really take like a company from like zero to incredible you have to give it like your all like it has to be something you do every single day and so that's yeah. what I'm focusing on right now yeah and having things like only fans I'm able to funnel it into other passions so I'm I'm all for it and super excited um you guys will see me posting a lot more fitness I'm gonna have a completely different Instagram just for my fitness it's gonna be an academy type thing so oh, really? I'm, I'm excited yeah oh it's gonna be a God. membership based thing so, so kind of like a, the gym but with me so. so much has changed like our last interview was like two years ago mm -hmm. so much has changed since then yeah for both of you guys yeah for both of you and brian two years ago we were i i what was it in la right mm -hmm. yeah was you were it working for, for impact. impact it was for impact brian was the champ mm -hmm. yeah good times yeah that was fun i remember he still had to pay for parking even though he was a champ now <laughs> <laughs> he did he did he was like i don't know what was going on he was like i don't understand blah 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 I'm like oh my goodness that's a good brian cage but do, like woo, 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 woo. <laughs> please don't kill me babe. okay no no i know i love you Mike. and you gotta look i <laughs> understand how much you love him but you got a lot of heat for what you said about uh, him i did i understand where you're coming from though you know, and I think I'm his wife, right? I would guess. And I'm spicy. I would, yeah. I'm I not going to be like, well, I really wish uh, things were different. No, but I can use them more. Like, I would guess. I love my husband. That he Brian would, Cage is probably your favorite wrestler. He is my favorite wrestler. <laughs> he is. I actually have like a couple of favorites, but he's for sure my favorite. That's how we even started talking. Like, I'd call him my favorite Lucha Underground all the time. Mm. So, yeah, I like think he's incredible he's just like really there isn't 
there aren't many wrestlers that look like him and have the discipline and have, you know, I know they all love, everyone loves wrestling. You know, I've, I'm completely enamored by it as well. I'm in a different way, but I, I feel like, my like, gosh, let's just, I want to see him more like I used to, right? Like, it's just like a Lucha Underground, he was being used all the time. And it, it was different companies, right? At Impact, he was you know, the champion. And I'm not asking, hey, let's just make him the champion. No, I just like, it's like, oh, I want to see my husband more, you know? Like, he comes out the first episode, you see him at AEW, he's fucking ripping fucking ladders apart. The first time, I don't know if you guys know this, but when he was at Lucha Underground, when the first thing we see him is like ripping the freaking, you know, the belt apart, he comes out and he's like, and he's doing these like body guy strong things that you don't really see that guy as much anymore. You see more of like, you know, like the, the cruiser weight, like it's, you, you don't see that. And it, I, I don't know. I just, for me, because I'm, yes, I am biased. Like he's my husband. I want to see more of that. And so I did get he because I'm spicy. Like I'm spicy. Like I'm very straightforward. I'm not going to just be like, oh, well, I'm just going <laughs> to, I really wish. Like, no, fucking use him. Like, but it must come have, on. It obviously bothered you enough. You could have ignored that comment on Twitter. You know, oh, it wasn't even that. So it was a, um, it was like, I, I found an article because there are a lot of articles written about this. I found an article, and then I was like, I posted it. But then I got really spicy about it. Maybe I shouldn't have. Um, but then he got all the heat. He didn't even really. He didn't even say anything. Yeah. I know. I know. He got all the heat. I do feel. I do feel bad about that because he, you know, loves wrestling. He loves AEW. Absolutely adores Tony. Um, loves being there. And and I feel like all of it came from the love of wanting to be more like involved. Yeah. And that's really, it was just from a passionate place. And because I'm all loud, 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 I got him in trouble. And I do feel bad for that because that wasn't my intention. Yeah. Even though when I look back at the videos, I'm like, damn, I should have just not been as spicy. But damn, it's hard. It's hard, sure. man. I get myself in trouble. I, I got to sugarcoat things a little bit. I would say from the <laughs> outside looking in that his time will come. Yeah, like you yeah. Can't, you can't look at his body of work and his body in general <laughs> and go, yeah, no, this is, this is it for him. Like his time will come. I know. It's just maybe not today or tomorrow or next week. Yeah. And I feel like it was the impatient kind of my, just, I was like, man, I just want to see more of it. I just like, I miss seeing my husband. I'm a fan, right? Like you're I miss seeing fan? my husband. You want to see more of him and you're a fan. And I see fan, where this is going. I'm actually might put him, I, I don't want, I kind of want to put him in my only fan somehow. I don't know. Hmm. Somehow. I'm how many women are uh, your subscribers? There is a lot of women. Wow. The women are actually a little bit more aggressive than the men. I've been getting some oh. private messages from you ladies that are... <laughs> I can't wait to talk to you in like three ladies. weeks. Ladies. <laughs> and be like, so how's it going now? You're going to be like, oh my God. It is, uh, it is insane. But, but yeah, so hopefully, you know, I, I can see my husband, you know, killing it a little bit more now that, you know, hopefully some of the heat falls off, you know, because... I feel like in wrestling, the new there's always something new that's happening. That's like the talk of the town, and so um, you know, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to get you all the heat. I just miss seeing you on TV. That's really what it is. And yeah. you know, AEW is dope, man. I love more wrestling on TV. Yeah, I love more of my husband on TV too, though. There is. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what it is. There is so much yeah. wrestling on TV, right? So now. much. I think that's phenomenal. That we have Wow coming back, right? Doing, I think they're based out of Las Vegas, so that that's dope too. I'm all about like the women, and you know, I'm a little biased, right? But yeah, it's um, it's exciting. It's cool. It's a cool time for wrestling. Yeah, and I yeah. love what you bring to it. <sighs> the growl, the, the growl. crazy, the, not, the spiciness. It's not crazy. <laughs> it's exciting. And I actually, I yeah. just interviewed Bruce Buffer. You know, the legendary ah, voice of the Octagon. You got the cool guys. Oh, it was so it. fun. I, can I just be here? Can I like hold your water when you're doing that? No, we have coasters for that. Oh, yeah, so, oh uh, God. Mm. Do we really? Oh, no, God. Okay. We need to get. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. Yeah, no, Don't okay. worry. I wasn't going to put it back down. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, we got yeah. a backup coaster. I guess I'll never have to beautiful have an. Table a, yeah, here. I know. It is beautiful. But what Good I was. Job, guys. What, I'm, what I'm saying is Bruce Buffer <laughs> brings this serious passion to what he yeah. does. And you do too. Well, I mean, any great it's, ring it's announcer like does. It's like really from you. It is from the gut, from the heart, from the uh, like. He is just. Well, it's I the same love with it. you yeah. because his talking voice is kind of like this, just a normal voice. But then when he announces, it's like Connor Ma, and I'm like, where where did that voice come from? Yeah. And that is you in Lucha Underground. It was. So, I miss it. 
I miss it. I do, and being at Impact just recently really made me go, damn, I do miss it. So I'm 100% open to ring announcing and continuing doing that, and we still have a relationship. So they do have um, – Penzer is there still, so, yep. you know, he's there. He was a little worried that he was going to lose his job. You are slightly better looking than he, him. Slight, he did admit to that. <laughs> he was like, you know what? I'm expecting it. I mean, that's it. I've had a long <laughs> career. I was like, oh, don't do that. He's amazing. So, yes. Someone that I have looked up to that when I started ring announcing, I'm like, okay, who do, I, who do I study? Who do I? And he was, you know, at the top of my list. And he is, a, he is you know, just incredible like inspiration to me so just to have him saying that to me because i was just on his podcast recently i'm like please don't because i don't even know how to react to that it was humbling but it's almost like no like you are you are who you are right and um you know your career will continue like it's in in spanish i say i don't know you speak spanish but like look look es patina y te lo quita like what is for you is always going to be for you so that's his mm. space right now i'm not here to be like oh let me take your job i was just happy to be there and be part of something such a, so incredible, like just like being able to work with Mickey. Like I'm just like, yeah. some great. <laughs> I don't talent, even know how to though. act like around her. Like uh, if you're watching this, I don't know how to act around you, even though it might look like I know how. I don't know how. Like I'm just always like, ah, you're amazing. Oh, okay, bye. Like I got a picture with her, and I even I wish I think I was shaking. Let me see this. Like I have I posted. <laughs> oh, it's on. Um, it's uh, I have to let me scroll. It's the one on here. Instagram. Yeah, I, I saw this. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> like what? Like I don't know how to act with you. And it's just, you know, I I have these like moments, and it's just like Gail, for example. Oh, she's so. Oh, she's the ah, best. you know, and she's the one who actually called me. And was like Melissa, you're gonna ring announce her. I ring, ring announce. I'm like. Now, did she say what? we want the Melissa from Lucha Underground? We want. Just be you? Just be, just come. Yeah, oh, and just okay. be Melissa and you're going to ring announce because like we feel like you should be the ring announcer. Like you, I mean, it's an all woman show and um, we want you and I'm just like, wow. Well, it's a no brainer. Come on. Yeah, it was really cool and uh, want to do it again. So impact. <laughs> um, I'm Im waiting. Impact does a lot of stuff in Vegas. <laughs> they do. They're actually yeah. here this weekend, I think. Right? Perfect. They're here this weekend. So maybe I'm going to come by. I'm just going to maybe just, just accidentally start ring announcing. <laughs> just pop on by. Just because most of ring announce, I didn't know. Oh, hey, I didn't even know. Oh, you were I here. didn't know. Oh, I just happened to be at Sam's Town Casino. I just happened to be here in the middle of the ring <laughs> while taping is happening. <laughs> so weird. So we but yeah, I mean, I, I have, you know, great relationship. And, yeah. you know, um, with most wrestling companies, not so much AEW right now, but it's okay. Oh. I love you guys. I know sad music. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you're the man. Yeah. Everybody over there is they're just they're doing great things. I just again, my man. I miss him. Yeah. Of course. I miss him on TV. We all do. So that's we what do. it is. Okay, so we might be seeing you more in the ring. As I, a ring announcer. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I am not against wrestling and doing stuff. Um I've done stuff with Brian. I've like yeah. it's just for for it's momentary, you know. I I can't go up against like true female wrestlers who are now like above and beyond what female wrestlers have ever been right like they're just killing it more than they than the men even so i can't compare myself to that so i'm always humbled in their presence um but i i um i have you know i would love to work with someone like you know i don't know like havoc would be fun to work with like i she's phenomenal i love her and these are like my friends where i feel like i've had these conversations with them i'm like if we ever had to do something like in the indies like would you be down she's like hell yeah hell fucking yeah like i'll fucking take a bum for you i'm like whoa like what i mean yeah. like, that's a little excessive don't be bumping for me but you know and then stuff like that so i know the girlfriends that i've made would like you know we we do stuff so i'm not against it because it's like you can never say never but you're yeah. right, though, that the bar keeps getting raised. Raised higher and like, higher. In wrestling like, in general, but women's wrestling especially. Like, it's so much better this year than it was last year. And, like, next year is going to be even better than this year. And I, I can't wait to see it in three or five years from now. I love it. So you're right. The bar is raised so higher. high. Yeah. And I have a daughter. So, you know, I might. Ooh. Maybe she, she loves. I mean, she's in gymnastics now. Um, so she's very, very, very active child. Um, how old is she? She's going to be four 
And okay, so I'll interview months. her in 14 years. Yeah. When she's a pro wrestler. I think she we might if we put her in wrestling for sure it'd be probably like around like six or seven. Like I would want her to like do it earlier just so because <laughs> she's already flipping around. You know, it'd be just yeah. fun to like, get her accustomed to it if that's something that she wants to do. I just feel like she likes it because she watches it and she was with me when I was ring announcing because I ring announced until I was about six months pregnant. Yeah. So like she yeah. she knew she was so comfortable at shows like she would fall asleep while fans are screaming like she was that used to it because she wow. was used to hearing it inside so it's crazy at what point in your career did you start to feel really accepted by the wrestling audience um i want to say like i was like the third year i would say of like like the probably the third season of lucha underground where i felt look right away they embraced me right Absolutely, that crowd's it, incredible it was like em yeah fan base it, it was incredible they embraced me right away um, but it wasn't until I would, I think like, and then I started learning cause I was asking questions and I would engage with the fans and just kind of see what they liked, what they didn't like, like all that stuff, uh, obviously while still being myself, right. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't cater to everyone. You, you clearly know that I love my fans, but as I'm trying to figure myself out, they help me find like kind of ground me in who I am. Like as a wrestling personality, if you will. Um, and they continue to like follow me along my career, whatever crazy thing I decide to do. Oh, I'm gonna do OnlyFans. They're like, fuck yeah, Melissa, I'm just gonna tip you a lot today. Fucking love you guys. Like what? Like it's what, I, I feel like they're so supportive. And I feel like around that time is when I felt fully like completely like engulfed and embraced by them. Um, and I think like I can do no wrong with at least like my real fans. Like they're just like, ah, oh, whatever, Melissa. Like yeah. we got your back no matter what. Like I'm like, I love that. And there's nothing like that in the world. And it, again, very humbling all the time. What's um, like the concept of like you just need a thousand diehard fans? There's like a book about it. Is is that is that yeah. what it is? And then like you're you're set basically. And you're good. Yeah. Really, I need to read that. That it, that would totally makes sense. If like, you had a thousand fans on your OnlyFans, you'd be living like next to David Copperfield somewhere. There are some girls on OnlyFans. I mean, they are just making like a ridiculous amount of like I I don't know what all it. I know Katie is killing it. Katie Rob, Forbes. Katie yeah. Forbes is killing it. Um, girl, she's one of the girls that was always like, just do it. Like she's like, just do it. I'll shout you out. Just do it. I'm like, okay. And her content's phenomenal, what right? If, are you gonna start collaborating with her? I want to do some stuff. I'm gonna actually be collaborating with a lot of OnlyFans like personalities oh this is so there's smart. also males too though like there's like everything and not everyone is like it's not just the set like there's literally people doing cooking shows on only fans like it's not it's not just that that's just one of the layers which is f great like so it's there's like something patreon for everybody turned up a little it really is on patreon i really tried with patreon so those of you who have been following me on patreon but they kept like i kept getting in trouble for posting things and it wasn't even like like what i have on only fans but I always just kept getting in trouble, and I'm like, I can't with I can't with Patreon right now. Like, they're not letting me do anything. So you're not doing Patreon anymore? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only we, only fans. Only only fans. That's it. Only only fans. Only fans. But, and we can't. This is the funny thing. You can't say only fans on Instagram. I didn't know that. Did I not know that? I, that became a thing, right? It's just O F. Oh, is that like? I thought that was just like, hey. Uh, Cool, right? Oh like, no, I think I don't feel like saying only all the whole thing. I think say. that the, I think that Instagram's like, oh, I see what you're trying to do here. Really, I didn't know that because they have like little. I mean, if you go on like the Giphy section when you're trying to find like that has nothing to do with Instagram. It says though. no, really. The, the gifts there are made by the People. website Giphy.com, and anyone can just put them up there. But Instagram allows it. But I, I can't say. I have say gifts it. for my fishing company on there. If you type in. Wu Tungsten, there's all kinds of gifts that I've created that are on there. See, and they don't say anything. They you could just make automatically a approve, gifts. And they just automatically approve it, approve it then. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, Gifted I didn't out. know. I just thought, oh, okay, I didn't know that. We'll so see. I wonder if I, I'll get in trouble. I ask your OnlyFans friends. That doesn't make sense. Like, I've had certain things taken off my Instagram because, like, it was just too sexy for Instagram, which is weird because oh, sometimes my. I'm scrolling through things and I'm like, her entire areola is out, but I can't show my <laughs> belly button. Cool, man. <laughs> I don't know who I need to talk to or what strings I need to pull, but it's what You it had is. one where you put like a big black X over my nipples. Yeah, to make yeah. it appropriate. Yeah. So that you could you could keep doing the that. The fact that that was not taken down was surprising to me. Well, you censored it. I did, but like Is the uncensored version on OnlyFans? Yes, it's on OnlyFans. There we go, guys. <laughs> there it is. I love that he loves my OnlyFans and you're going to give me 
a lot more business because That's the whole this point is here. great. Thank I, I think a lot of people are just finding this out for the first time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's um, it was pretty crazy. I wasn't gonna do it, but then I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Then I'm not, and then my management company was like, just do it. Okay, now have, like, I'm sure you've had some odd requests. Um, nothing. Okay, you. It's I'm, been 24 hours. Yeah, so there's like, gonna be some odd requests. Now, how are you gonna handle those? I will handle them as they come. Yeah. So far, it's been... No pun intended. Mm. <laughs> I, that would be wow. awkward. See, I don't know how to deal with all that. It's going to happen. See, that's a little... I know it's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? It happens for a lot less. You know yeah. what I mean? That kind guys, of situation. Just be, guys are weird, just... Guys, guys just on. do things sometimes where I'm like, ah. And girls, the most odd request was just recently on my Instagram, and Each. it was from a female. Okay. It was a girl. Ladies, yeah. you're beating out the boys right now. This is how it should be, though. It's fine. Yeah. It was just like, whoa, oh, okay. Um, hmm. It's just Maybe. been really exciting seeing you <laughs> grow in all of these different aspects of all the different businesses yeah. that you have. Yeah, and so I'm excited. So my fitness business will be launching in February. Um, and end of January, can, can February. Can anybody work with you? Anybody can work with me. Okay. I have, it's, I have a partnership, so it's also with a team. Very sophisticated software. We're going to be able to break down to like you come and you're like, hey, I need to put on like 10 pounds of muscle or I want to lose weight, whatever it is. But you're like, I have injuries. I, I went through this. I have allergies to this. I don't, I hate fish. Like, so this is literally going to, we're going to break down and we're going to put together a diet plan that is specifically made for you. Like, mm. and it changes, right? And you can always like take, like, let's say you don't want this meal. You can always switch it out and we'll give you something different. So it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to have like weekly meetings, like on Zoom with like some of my, you know, like, you know, people that want to jump on and talk and hang out and talk about what their week was like. So it's going to be a support group. Um, your, so not just your diet plan in the gym as well. And out, outside of the gym, there are people that don't want to work out in the gym and I get it. So there's going to be something for everybody and it's going to be really like digestible. So it's not going to be super expensive. I know we're still living in like crazy times and yeah. people are like, Oh, I don't want to. But on that same note, we are living in crazy times, a disease that primarily will really, you know, at attacks people that don't have good health. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, it sucks. Like I've, I've had, I actually had COVID just recently and it was awful. Right. And so, and I'm healthy. Right. Um, and, um, you know, so if you can get your, what we have control of is our body. We yep. can control what goes in our body. Um, right. We can't really control a virus that we really can't see as much as we try and we can mask and vaccinate and do all that stuff, but we can control like how we eat in order to be prepared and have the right defenses just in case it comes like, you know, it just happened to me recently. And yeah. so I'm like, it was actually right after my show. Oh, wow. I ended up getting COVID because I, my immune system was very, very low, become very, very depleted. I ended up getting COVID. My mom, I got it from my mom. Um, she needed to get help as well. She's fully vaccinated as well. Was really, really sick. Um, but I made, you know, I was like, all right, mom. Like I've, I'm always on my mom's health. So I was like, okay, you got to take these vitamins. So we're both sick together and like kind of helping. But I know that because my mom is, healthier because I'm in her life, she was able to combat it. And my mom's, you know, close to 70 years old. So yeah. it's those things. So, uh, you know, a lot of times, oh, I don't know how, I, I, I feel like I can't afford this. I'm like, but you know, $49 a month, like I feel like you can afford this for your health, right? Like I feel like we can reroute things, you know? It's gonna be like, $49 a month? It's gonna be $49 That's a month so on like a membership, like base, right? And you, there's no contract, there's nothing. Like yeah, I, I tell people though, give it at least three months so that you see real change. like that that quarter period of your life is really important because that's when you'll see the most by that third month you're gonna go oh wow this is this is great and you're gonna want to keep doing it right people give up because they don't see results right away right yeah. and during this time i think it's important like right now this stupid disease is not going anywhere like let's just get healthier as like a nation yeah. and then everything else should just be like kind of the icing on the cake like all the medication and stuff that's coming because science is real and it works and we should be taking advantage of everything yeah. but let's take advantage of our own health like how can we do that and so we're going to be able to do that so people will be able to go on there and go okay well i have allergies to this like i can't eat this like i i hurt my acl last year so i can't do this okay cool we'll modify everything and it's not just me it's me and like a team so uh and very sophisticated software that is working and some some jay might know about the same company that i'm actually partnering with so i'm super excited and it's something that i'm so passionate about and i love people feeling happy and 
fit. And it's not just about looking that way. It's like what's going on inside, right? That's the biggest thing. It, it's, it starts from the inside out, right? Yeah. If it, all that's going to cut. You'll start looking better. You'll be able to be on your Instagram like Chris shirtless eventually. But reality pizza. is it's like pizza. and pizza. Yep. But you can do all that. You're going to have pizza, all that. So if you're watching this and you want it, you know, $49 a month, totally doable. It'll be 29 if you just want the diet. Like if you don't want, oh. if you know what to do with the gym, you're like, ah, I just want it. I yeah. want someone to break down my diet for me it'll be a lot less. So I keep telling people, I'm like, do it. Ladies, you can afford it. I know how much these nails cost. It's about $100 every two weeks. So, so you guys can afford a little bit. Put the Starbucks down a little bit and let's get healthy. You we're going to be able to find this on your Instagram? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna actually going to have a completely separate Instagram yeah. just for that. Okay. Um, and yeah, man, it's called Bodies Fitness Academy. So um, it's going to be just like that, like an academy. Like, hey, we're going to be checking in and we're going to be doing this. And you know, it's gonna be fun. Nice. I, I mean, it's gonna be fun watching people transform and we'll have challenges and things like that to keep people like, yeah. you know, excited to, you know, eat broccoli once in a while, you know. Look, it's been fun watching you transform. Yeah. <laughs> so. And so good to have you here in the studio. Um, your name is back there. Like, speaking of, of transformations, like, I feel like I should be interviewing you right now. Like, this is incredible. Yeah, I'm so happy job, for yeah. you. Like, Blue Wire is the best. It's because you're amazing though. Like your transformation has been mind blowing. I just want more. I just want more with I everything. I get that. Yeah. And you're gonna get yeah. more. You have that. You have the cojones. You have the the testicular fortitude. I do too, though. And I don't even have <laughs> testic te testes. Is that? Can yeah. I say that? Sure. Okay. I don't know. I've said a lot of bad words yeah. today. They're all. It's the internet. It's the yeah. internet. Yeah. It's a. I I end every conversation with the mm -hmm. same question, so I will ask it of you. Okay. What are three things in your life? that you're grateful for right now? I'm grateful for my healthy body that allows me to be here talking to you. Um, I'm grateful for my family, um, which includes my daughter and my dogs and my lizard and my little frog at home, like all that. Um, and I'm grateful that, on that same note with my family, that I was raised always to believe I can mm -hmm. as opposed to I can't. You know, that. yeah. What's your lizard's name? Steve. And your frog? My frog, Cece. My daughter just named him. It's sad because like she had two other fish that died in the same tank and this frog is resilient. I don't know how he's still alive. Oh, an aquatic frog? Yeah, he's an aquatic frog. Yeah. He is just like doing, he's swimming all day. He's super happy. Two fish have died. He don't even care. Like he's just like, whatever, dude, keep bringing him on. I don't know why these fish keep dying. It's depressing. I worked at a pet store in the fish department. Maybe I can help you out. Really? Yeah, Shut what, up. What kind of fish did you You're bring? lying to I'm me. Serious. You do everything. That was in high school. Okay. I know, but that's incredible. What kind of fish were they? Um, it was. Laddies? Mollies? No. Um, my gosh. Neon Tetras? No. Oh, my gosh. The ones African that, cichlids? The ones that, like, you can't put in a tank together. Cichlids. Um, no, they, they, they kill each other if they. Um, Siamese fighting fish? Betas. Betas. Thank yeah, you. Siamese My gosh, fish. why can't I? Is that what they're called? Siamese fighting fish? Yeah, betas. Yeah. Jeez, I've always just thought they were betas, and he just like takes it up a notch. Like, that's what they are. Well, if that's you're putting they... them in together, I think we know why they've done So, it. no, no, I, it's one at a time. And I asked the lady at the store, and she was like, no, you, you can have a frog, and you can. So I was like, he needs a friend. I can't just put this beta in here. Yeah. How like depressing of a life is that? Yeah. And she's like, no, you can put a frog in there. Thing dies in like three days. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Frog, you... happy as. Happy as it yeah, can be. Yeah, that frog's going to live forever. Loves being in there. He's like going hard the whole day. I get another one because my daughter thinks it's sleeping, but it's dead. So she's, I don't want to traumatize my child. I get another one dead within the week. I'm like, I don't know what Jeez. I'm doing. What, what, what am I doing wrong? Are you feeding him blood worms? Or the little blood pellets? No, dude, well, is that what they're, they're oh. these little pellets. that I, The beta pellets? Yes. Okay. And the frog likes those too. Like, yeah. he's just like, oh, I'll eat whatever. Like, he doesn't care. Like he's so resilient. Look, These, we, this could be a whole other hour-long podcast. You're gonna have so to really gonna tell me, yeah, because like betas. Do you have any shells or anything like? I do. Okay, that's it right there. Oh. Yeah. Wait, like what? Like a shell you found on the beach or something? No, I brought it from the store. Uh, from the store, but it's a shell. Yeah, it's like a little shell. It's like you know, is like a decorative, like, decorative. Is it made of like porcelain or? I, I, whatever. If it's a, an actual shell from like the ocean, you're not supposed to. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't think it is. I bought it at the store, so I'm assuming it's material that I don't know. is okay this for is, the tank. We've gone down. Quite Dude, we have now. now we're talking about the beta. This but yeah, ridiculous. those are the things I'm incredibly okay. thankful for. Um, we'll just kind of reel it <laughs> back in. I'm incredible. I had no idea that betas yeah. 
were a thing in your life. You're so incredibly talented in all the things in life. I, you're going to be a good dad if you ever want to be a dad one day. Oh, you, you know you. about little fish. You know about the one pets. Day. You know what I mean? One and day. kids love the pets. I'm telling you right now. It makes them so happy. My kid can play with your kid. Yeah. My kid will be headlocking your kid. I mean, if you're yeah. okay with that. Okay. So it's good fun. to see you. Thank you. What <laughs> a conversation. He's like, maybe not. <laughs> well, no, I loved no it. kids anytime soon. Yeah, right? it's a lot of responsibility. Just stick to the fish. Stick to okay. the betas. That's easy. Well, Melissa, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you, y'all.